What it do, what it do, what it do, y'all, what it do. Welcome to the first live taping of the Awkwardly Honest podcast. Uh, I know a lot of y'all already know about the podcast. Uh, I know a lot of y'all don't. This is my first time doing it live and on Facebook. So make sure y'all share, tag a friend, tap in, all that good stuff. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. What it do, Steve? Man, y'all, boy, the, the Comedy Award last night, bro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my page, bro. The Memphis Urban Labs Comedy Awards hosted by Basil Basil and 2D2 Times, man. Last night, it was beautiful, y'all. Like, it was so much black excellence in that building, bro. It is ridiculous. I mean, that's one of the best times I done had in a while, bro, like, we ain't had nobody musically perform. It was just a room full of nuts. Like, literally. It was just a room full of complete, excuse my language, retards. And, y'all, uh, that was probably some of the most fun I've had in a while, man. I mean, from the red carpet being starting late to the live taping of the red carpet, which is also on my page. I can check that out. Um, everybody that walked the carpet got a chance to talk. Shout out to Lulu. What it do, sis? Uh, yeah, man. Like, it was just, it was just a great night for comedy. Urban comedy at that, y'all. Uh, shout out to my boy Jay Roach, man. My boy Jeremy took home two awards. He took home uh, Best Comedy Host of the Year, and he also took home uh, Best Up and Coming Comedian. So shout out to him. He a part of the COVID kids. You know what I'm saying? So it was just beautiful to see, man. And then on top of that, on top of that, my guy Basil took home a couple of them things too. But my most the one I was most excited for was the one I actually got to present, and I didn't always present, but it was the one Basil took home, and it's on my page, of uh, the best comedy show of the year, which was um, his Rated R comedy show. And if you've never been to that, y'all, man, it's, 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 it's a show. And if you know Basil, you know Basil, get down, man. So, yeah, then Basil had on some shoes where if he clicked his heels together twice, we would end up in nut bush, bro, like. That shit was crazy, man. Like, we had... And, it, and the crazy part is, it was... No crackheads came out and ruined it. None. I don't know if put, they put out an APB to the crackheads and said, look, take the night off. Take the night... Because we on American Way now. So, I don't know if they said take the night off or, you know what I'm saying, they fed them and was like, just chill till after this time. But, y'all, it was a great time. And it wasn't no issues. Nobody was salty, you know what I'm saying, about if they didn't win the award they was nominated for. Um, let me see. What else, man? Again, like I said, man, everybody looked beautiful, bro. Like, there was some folks dressed up. I was just like, damn. I didn't know you could do that. Boy, with some wagons in that thing, you know what I'm saying, man. Then we had a couple Karens in there, too. No police was called, though, so shout out shout out to Karen. Um, I think her name actually was Karen, too. Yeah, and uh, man, shout out to Toya, man. She put together a great uh, award show. It was the sixth one. But we're going to get into some of these outfits I saw, man. Like, boy, you want to talk about looking good. Like, what Tootie say? This is a black... Oh, shout out to Tootie and Pepper Tree T. I forgot. They, she took on the uh, award for her comedy show, too, man. Shout out to Tootie, man, with Pepper Tree T. Y'all need to make sure, bro, when I share these flyers and stuff, bro, y'all know I don't share a lot of flyers and shit, unless I'm on it. But when I share flyers and shit for people that's not me, and I'm not on the show, y'all gotta check it out, bro. Like, dumb people, bro, you can't miss, bro. You cannot miss, man. What's up, y'all? Hey, make sure y'all sharing the live, please, and thank you. This is the first live taping of the Awkwardly Honest Podcast, because I know a lot of you niggas don't ever click my links and go to it. If you did, I have a lot more subscribers on my page, but that's neither here nor there. I'm glad y'all brought y'all funky breath ass in here. If you ain't brushed your teeth and washed your face, go do it. Paul, no, take me with you so I can talk to you while you do it, but do it nonetheless. Yeah, um, I didn't get to perform last night. Uh, shout out to Jay the man, y'all. Sleazy, if you watching this, somebody tag Sleazy. If you know Sleazy that do comedy in Nashville, tag him in this right now, bro. Let him know that Jalen, that boy, that, that boy got something, like real talk. That, that young nigga there, hey. Hilarious, bro. Like I don't, and I see a lot of people talk like, I'm. I don't really go to comedy shows because it ain't. You know what I'm saying. I don't really be laughing at it. 
Man, get your ass up and go to a comedy show, man. Don't wait for a nigga to become, you know what I'm saying, Bernie Mac or, you know, Eddie Murphy. Then you want to, you know, go to a show and support him. Nah, man, support while they blowing up, man, while a nigga working. This is the time you need support. This is the time you want people to support you, bro. Like, yeah, man, like, y'all quit being lame, man. Share your friend. That friend is posting them motherfucking lame videos that you keep scrolling past or that music that you're not listening to. Man, it don't hurt to share because you're going to be in that man face later on or in that moment. Man, it don't hurt to share, man, and to come check out and support. I know one thing. I know a lot of y'all didn't come to my D's Nuts showcase. And uh, I want y'all to get off D's Nuts when I post my flyers. I'm like, ooh, we in the next show. I'm sorry. I missed it. I'm going to come. Whatever. Anyway, don't tell me you're going to come to the show. Just just pop up. Just let me see you there. Just let me see you there, man. But, yeah, y'all niggas got to stop that, man. Y'all got to show some support, bro. Like, And the comedy club we had, she's the only minority female to own a comedy club so yeah if you ain't clapping we gonna clap that up yeah so shout out to my mom and comedy toya aka miss vivacious <laughs> you gotta be throwback to know who miss vivacious is i just met her a year ago so yeah man but <sighs> man but yeah the the, the ghetto mint gala as tootie called it was amazing last night man like Bro, it's just so beautiful to see black people, like, just together, bro. Like, looking nice, dressed up. And uh, Timbo almost got his ass whooped last night by uh, Miss Keisha, husband. That boy, hey, Timbo, if you watching it, that boy did not appreciate you reaching to try to help her get off the stage. He was not going for that. He was one of them old players. What you, what you doing? I got it. I got it. Timbo, like, damn, bro. I don't want her. Look like, nigga, you got it. Don't nobody else want her. That shit was funny as hell. And you was dressed, like I said, like the Easter egg with the money in it. Talking about some motherfucking uh, sherbet. Nigga, I'm about one of those sherbet with your ugly ugly suit jacket I had. But shout out to my guy Timbo. Timbo took home like three or four awards too. Um, Yeah, like, and if you don't know these people that I'm saying, you should definitely get to know them. Like, bro, we got so many great comics on the bubble and on the rise in the city that all you got to do is watch and support, bro. That's it. That's it. Some of these niggas is going to be dropping specials on HBO and Showtime and Cinemax and Pornhub, too. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, and shout out to the Cobra Kids, too. We was in that thing, teed up, turned, running, was dancing all night like a broke down ass on Marion. I don't know if he was drunk or hot, but either way, he was in that bitch turn. Uh, shout out to his wife for letting him come. Yeah, man. Y'all know what that sound is. Y'all already know what that sound is, man. Yeah. You know how we get down. Oh, and before I forget, shout out to Be Too Funny, man. Bruh, I just met you not long ago, bruh, but you deserve Comedian of the Year. I'm saying it on my live, bruh. You deserve it. From what I heard, from what I see, bruh, like the energy and the, con like the conversation we had, uh, fucking, what was it, Saturday? Yeah, bruh, you deserve it. So shout out to you. But just know. Jazz, no. I'm coming for that motherfucker next year. I'm coming. My goal is to take home four awards next year. One, two, three, four. I need four of them things. Four. I need four awards next year. God damn it. I want it all. I need the host of the year. God damn it. I need comedian of the year. I need best male comic. I need best up and coming comic. I need all the best TikTok uh, uh, page. I need all five. I need everything you're going to give me. Why? Because I want it. I need to earn. I want to work for it. And you also self-nominate. But I didn't want to nominate myself. I wanted to see if somebody... I wanted to see if my ground was strong enough for somebody to want to nominate me on their own. Like, oh, shit. Let me nominate me. Go. That man ain't been killing it. But I'm not... You know, I'm not salty or nothing like that. Let me... I ain't salty. I'm Because I didn't get nominated. That just showed me that I bullshitted on my grind. And it's time to kick that shit up. That's all that showed me. It's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, y'all better get to know these folks, bro, for y'all be having to pay, you know, three, four hundred um, to, to, to go see them. And that's just for the nosebleed, you know what I'm saying? That's for the nosebleed you see, three, four hundred. Oh, and if you don't know, you should go ahead and subscribe to all in my podcast, Anywhere It's Available. The name on the screen is what it's called. And you can become a part of the Juice Crew. Yeah, shout out to... Uh, Jayla for my logo and stuff. Oh, and I will be posting my Shopify link. If y'all would like to get a rolling tray, a Juice Crew rolling tray, it is a, a like a medium-sized rolling tray. I can show it to you, but it, you know, mine full of, you know, 
paraphernalia. But uh, it's a medium sized rolling tray, and it's just it's got this logo on it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really dope. Uh, and I'm fucking with y'all. I'm only charging thirty for it. So if y'all fuck with me, fool with me, man, go cop you a, a Juice Crew rolling tray. You know what I'm saying? And I deliver, hand deliver that motherfucker. Here you go. Wrapped, sealed, and delivered. You know what I'm saying? And I ship too. And shipping is don't worry about shipping. I ship it to you. Ain't worry about that. As long as you pay for that motherfucker, I get it to you. Give a fuck if you in Jurassic Park or Jerusalem, I'm gonna get it to you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, bro. Like, whew. y'all don't understand. This comedy shit is, this shit hard. And I love it, but I love it. I love the process. I love everything about it. Wouldn't change none of it. Wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I met a lot of great people during this process. And that's just really what I'm going to talk about. Comedy on this, you know what I'm saying, the episode. I ain't going to hold y'all long. I promise I'm not. But if you're watching, thank you so much for watching. You know what I'm saying? I got my little Ramadan camera going. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do that thing. You know, good vibes only. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, it was just a great night for comedy, man. Everybody looked good, dressed good. Man, smoked good. Because, boy, you talking about part lit. Boy, the parking lot. Smelled like a dispensary around that motherfucker. It was like, hey, who got it? If you got it, I need it. That's what that motherfucker was like, man. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it just it made me realize too that black people actually can do shit and not, you know, be niggas. You know what I'm saying? Not fuck shit up. So yeah. And this ain't gonna be the last time I go live either. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all fuck with me, y'all be tuning in. Uh, turn on my post notifications, too. <clears throat> oh, and let me speak. Hey, YouTube. I know YouTube. This is going to go on YouTube. I'm speaking to y'all after I already went live because y'all bullshitting me. Then come check it out. But, hey, YouTube. Thank y'all for uh, subscribing. And, uh, it, I mean, for staying subscribed. Y'all staying loyal. And if y'all want some more um reactions, man, y'all let me know, too. But, yeah. Just a great day, man. I, I, I had a marvelous night, man. I couldn't have. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better other than to, you know, get an award. But it's, you know, I, I, I'm not tripping on that. I was enjoying the experience. Because, you know, last year at the Comedy Awards, and I had to get reminded last night, because, you know, a lot of seizures in between, you know, last year around this time and this year around this time. I was reminded, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, bro. I couldn't remember if I was here last year. I was like, they were like, yeah, bro, you was here. That's how we met. I was like, damn, show did. Damn, this festival helped me meet some of the realest niggas I know. Damn, that's crazy. Like, what well, Ronnie saying? My mama told me not to talk to strangers because if I listened to it, I wouldn't have met these great niggas. You know what I'm saying? And 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 what I and what I will say about having a team, <clears throat> you gotta get one that's gonna be with you. You know what I'm saying? Right or wrong. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's going to let you know, like, hey, bro, you know, this, that, and the third. Because it's been, I ain't going to act like we ain't had issues or arguments and all, you know, in my little clique and my little group. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, what we arguing about is how can we, you know, communicate and come back from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been plenty of time. And then when you're doing something as a crab, you don't like criticism from, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm trying to say, criticism hit different when it's coming from your peers versus, you know, somebody else you know what i'm saying so the fact that we can we've learned how to take criticism from each other because man it'd be times where i might jump straight off the stage and one of them might be like hey come here let me holler at you real quick and might be like hey bro you 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 shouldn't have did this you shouldn't have did that you know what i'm saying like bro we know each other to the point to where we can tell when when we bush you know when we nervous or when we spitballing and shit like that you know what i'm saying and by spitballing i mean just um randomly like we just going just going to be going you know what i'm saying we don't know where we're going but we driving and you know what i'm saying that's we we know each other well enough for that and so you need to get you a, a click like that especially it's not needed but if you look at every kind of successful or semi-successful comic what do they have they have a team they have like people with them you know what i'm saying like people that's for them they want to see them win you know what I'm saying? Like, when my nigga German was getting them awards last night, we was hugging this nigga like he was winning. Like, he had just won the lotto or got drafted. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, bro, we watching hard work pay off. And so, 
You know what I'm saying? We we had a talk after the show, like, hey, bro, this is just the beginning, but we got to go and turn up. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no, like, damn, that man won. Hell, and if I be honest, it was two niggas out of our crew that was in the same category together. The same category. One had to lose, unfortunately, but he was okay. Because you know what he did? He came straight over there, hugged him, and was like, my nigga, congratulations. And you know what you do, all you can do for that is say appreciate it. And try not to cry, because it's all niggas was doing last night. You know what I'm saying? So, I thoroughly enjoy my folk winning. You know what I'm saying? And... It ain't like no, any win is a group win. Let me say that. Any win is a group win. But it ain't like, it's almost like my niggas just went, and, he went and got it by himself. But he had a great team around him. Like, bro, there's been plenty of open mics where we almost threw hands around there because we, cause we feel like the other person criticizing or judging. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, we just got to sit down and be like, you know what, bro? What are we doing, bro? Like, y'all niggas, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, get you a team, man. Get you some friends, man. And, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to want this shit in the comedy game. And I'm learning this myself, bro. Like, you can't be lazy with it. And so, you know what I'm saying? With the team, bro, they push you. They make you want to do better, you know, and shit like that. But, yeah, enough of that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boys again. But enough of that, man. So, y'all. The biggest thing on my mind that I want to talk about is Country Wayne talking about he pay all his baby mama bills. Now, I ain't got no issue with that, Mr. Wayne. If you can afford to do that, I, I wholeheartedly, I wholeheartedly say go ahead. Because I can't do that, and I don't plan on doing that. But you paying all your baby mama bills is not good. That's, you know. But whatever you do is whatever you do. And you know what I'm saying? So, y'all got that country lane shit there is bananas. Um, I... Is they still fucking? Like, I don't know. I guess... If you created a lifestyle and they used to the lifestyle, you kind of maintain. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one, bro. Like, I don't know. Because part of me feel like, yeah, he cool to for doing it. You know what I'm saying? I kudos to him. I, you know, I commend him and all that. But I, I can't do it. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to mind it. I, mm-mm. I can't do it. I, like you land up with a whole nother nigga, and I'm paying like in the house that I'm paying the 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 earth that I'm paying for. You know what I'm saying? You 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 he washing his ass in the motherfucking water that I'm paying for. Nah, bro. Like just let me get my kids and we good. But the crazy part is he got all his kids. I believe Country Wayne has all his kids in the house with him. Yeah, cause that, yeah, he said on Breakfast Club, all his kids live in the house with him, and they all um, and they all make money like separately. Uh, like through their videos and shit, and so um, I don't know why he's doing that, but I guess he does it just just on the strength of him doing it. I guess I don't know, but me personally, I'm not doing no shit like that on the strength, cause ain't no creature that good for me to pay your bills while another nigga laying over there. So I, me personally, I'm I'm cool on it. But Mr. Wayne, you do as you please, and so see forth and fit. Um. And the fact that this nigga is actually trying to rap is mind blowing and mind numbing because I'm just like, it started as a joke, but like he said, nigga, y'all like that shit. So I'm finna latch on to it. They gonna do it. And Zay told me, with his wet curl having that, that nigga hair is up there. Like, that motherfucker stuck. Like, what's that little dance? They got that shit from his hair, goddammit. That's what that shit is. Cause that boy hair was up there, up there. But, man, look. Damn, Wayne. That's crazy. 
But you know what I'm saying? I ain't like I said, I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I just wanted to come out here and go live and do my first live taping of the Awkwardly Honest podcast. Again, if you want to support and get a rolling tray, I will post the link in the password because y'all know I'm cheap. I ain't about the, the full uh service yet. I'm still on my trial because you know how I get down. But if you like to purchase a rolling tray, I'm gonna post the link and the password for my store on there and like again they're only 30 bucks um you can you go get a plain rolling tray and it's gonna be like 30 bucks but like i said uh thank y'all for watching and tuning in and if you are just now seeing this and it's later on it's not live share this motherfucker tag me in it share it hashtag juice crew share it let's get it man you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm gonna drop the link and the password on my page and y'all go get y'all a motherfucker and roll and train, please. I see too many big ass backwood blunts on my pa- on my story pay uh thing for y'all not to go get a juice crew rolling tray. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, bro, don't I gotta pour that hot ass wax on y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Go get that fucking tray and don't make me say it twice. Shit, and it's only 10. They exclusive. It's only 10 that I'm giving, I mean that I'm selling. It's only 10. It's only 10. So you, your cousin, your bald head mammy can go and get y'all one. Hell, you can buy all 10 if you want to. I love you forever you buy all 10. You know what I'm saying? But, man, go on and go get a roll the tray. Shit. By the time you see this, it'll be up. The link and the, the, the everything. It'll be up there. All right. But, nah, seriously, though, I appreciate y'all for watching and tuning in, man. Please share and uh, like this video and subscribe to the Awkwardly Honest Podcast, wherever podcasts are available. And we're going to rock out with our cock out. Surpri- uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel at... Uh, Nico the Man, I believe. Yeah. It'll be on the page, too. Uh, and again, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. So, God bless y'all. Be blessed, be safe, and be, be well. Wear your mask when you get around them peoples. And y'all know who them peoples is. You know what I'm saying? So, again, uh, yeah. And Juice Crew, we out.